because I got cute feet. I ain't got like crazy. Attack against Empire star Jesse Smollett. Two law enforcement sources with knowledge of the investigation tell CNN Chicago police believe Jesse Smollett paid two men to orchestrate the assault. The actor told police that on January 29th, two masked men beat him, doused him with a liquid he believed to be bleach, and put a rope around his neck, all while shouting racial and homophobic slurs. I want to go out to CNN national correspondent Ryan Young in Chicago now for the latest. Ryan, what are we learning? Okay, so y'all just heard that little small clip right then. I'm almost certain that there's more to it. But... Remember when I told y'all in a video that I did a couple days ago saying how I didn't believe or something sounded very fishy or like shady, real side eyeish about this story. And you know, when, when I was reading it into the, the article and like really coming to my own conclusion, I said something is just not adding up here. And in one part I was saying, he just needs to hand the phone over to the authorities because that's the one thing that they need to go forward with the case. I had people in the comment section asking, why did he need to hand over his phone? What does his phone records have to do with anything? Well, actually, his phone had a lot to do with it because apparently, according to him, the last person that he was on the phone with was his uh, manager. Now, that was the first thing that he came out with. He said that the first that he was on the phone with his manager while you know in the midst of him being attacked, so they could you know get in contact with the manager and say, okay, like what happened, and then bring him into the investigation. Now the latest that came from it before, which you just heard in that clip, was that they had arrested two men who were involved. They say were involved with the attack, and they said they had um, worked on the show Empire. I believe they're two Nigerian brothers. I can't exactly pronounce their names. It's kind of hard to pronounce. But when they questioned him for hours, there was no evidence leading that they were the ones that were involved. Now, the latest has, that has come out, like I said, this story is just like overlapping, o overlapping itself. The latest that has come out about this is apparently Jesse orchestrated this attack on himself. Basically, what they're saying is he paid two men to do what he said happened to him. And the reason why he didn't give up those phone records is because apparently he was not on the phone with the manager at the time. Or maybe he was, and that was all part of the attack, and maybe the manager didn't know. But apparently he had to have gotten in contact with the two men that he paid to attack him. And then I'm hearing some things about uh, Uber records and all types of other stuff coming out, too. It's a... It's a ball of confusion going on right now but one thing we know for certain is what he initially told people when the story first went out at the end of january was not the whole story because then you had the factor in people saying oh uh it was in the middle of that damn polar vortex that was going on it was like in the negatives it was below zero in chicago and you know the subway thing they was like he was they were wearing manga hats and they said they don't they said they know it might be some racist living in a chicago but they know that they don't really frequent over there and really who was out at that time of the morning anyway at that time while it was that it was that cold outside like i wanted to believe that this story was real like a lot of people wanted to a lot of people came out to bat for this guy a lot of celebrities threw out their support for him because they know what kind of climate we live in. Like, you don't have to make up stories of racist shit happening to you when we know this shit is already happening. But guess what this is going to do? This is going to make it hard for harder for people or even the average person to prove racist shit has happened to them. If it's not caught on camera. That's why a lot of people record shit nowadays for proof. And that's probably another thing they was wondering why. Why didn't he... Or find a way to record this stuff happening. I know people say it's going to be difficult because it would have been one against two. But still, you did not have to go to this extreme. And you are a, you are a, you're an actor slash singer. And that might be hanging in the balance right now as far as careers go. And another thing I've heard too is that he's turned the comments off on pretty much all his social media platforms so it's like if you go to his instagram account you can't comment anything 
I don't know what his tw his Twitter is looking like, but I know on Instagram they said that you can't leave comments. But they, he turned all the comments off. I think, like he, like I said, I'm starting to really believe that he might have orchestrated this thing. A lot of people don't want to believe that to be true because of two things. One, because racist shit happens to black people in this establishment all the time, and already we don't get believed when we say racist shit happens. And two, because this, you, you didn't have to make this up. Like, you really did not have to make this up. That's just like a, a woman crying rape when she wasn't raped, and then when a woman is actually raped, they don't believe her because of the amount of lies of women coming out and saying they were raped when they really weren't. Like, that is, like, this is really fucked up. Like, it really is. Like, people, like, I'm look like, I'm looking everywhere, and a lot of people are talking about this right now, and they are mad. And rightfully so, because, like I said, people threw out support behind this guy. If it really comes out that he orchestrated this entire attack on him, it's curtains for him. He will be blackballed. Not by just the, the industry, but by the black community as a whole. Especially since they came to bat for him. The thing, I think the biggest question I have for him is why why did you have to lie about that you did not have to lie about this you did not have to over inflate something like and then we're gonna it's not like we're gonna not gonna find out anyway what you like what the true motive of this was like i keep hearing things of saying them saying he was going to be written out of the show well shit if he wasn't going to be written out of the show before he damn sure is going to be written out now because now they're not going to want to watch a show with someone like him on it the ratings will go down for sure and i think the show comes back on next month in less than a month i believe so they're going to have to do them people over at fox are going to have to do some serious damage control between now and then because this this is all playing out to look like one big ass publicity stunt I mean, first we had the, the thing with the shooter in, in Aurora, Illinois, ironically in Illinois, yesterday. And I bet you they're going to try to make their way or make it a way to try to make him the face of mass shooting. And that ain't going to happen. Let's just be real here. And now you have this, which happened in Chicago, Illinois. And to be honest, his, in my opinion, weighs out worse. Because he did not have to do this. He didn't. What? And also, instead of also including me with me asking why did he do this, my next question is what the hell made him want to do this? Like, what, what was the point? What was the end goal? What was the end game here? What were you trying to prove? I don't want, I really don't want to believe that this isn't true, but my gut is, in my, in my, my gut is just telling me that this shit is true. Because a lot of the stuff just hasn't been adding up over the last few weeks. I'm going to leave the links to various articles so y'all can read them, and they all lead back to that, like nothing made any sense whatsoever. And he had no other choice but to turn his comments off because he knew them people were going to go in on his ass. Like, his career, like his career is pretty much pretty dead, in, dead the water. in the water. Whatever he had lined up for him going forward, they're going to cancel it because no one's going to want to work with that kind of element. Like, this is like this is probably the end of his career right here. And the thing is, the thing about it is, if he actually really gets attacked in the future, like the one that he orchestrated here, no one's going to believe him. No one's going to no come, one's to, his gonna come to his defense. I mean, you had, I mean, people, you had people around probably around the globe, globe giving, him support. giving him support. And that, and that, and that, and that rarely that happens really in cases like, cases these. like these. And I think mainly is because, because he is he famous. Is famous. Because you know they don't really deal. They don't. They'll do it for an average person, average person within, within a, certain degree, a certain degree, but not all the way out like, like they, they, did, they, with like they, they did, like did, with did with him. Like, I went on like various went people's on various pages, pages, and they had at least one post, one about, post him. about him. But you know what but I you know also what found I ironic? Because I followed Siraji P. Henson on here. And I don't know if it's because she was promoting her movie, What Men Want, or Around the Time, or whatever. But I noticed that on her page, she was like the only person on Empire that did not post anything related to him. I wonder what that was about. 
if she has, maybe it's been more recent, but I don't know. But I haven't, I didn't see her post anything about him, and I follow her. She didn't make one post about him, whether it was on her main page or on her Instagram stories. I wonder if she was side eyeing the thing too, because I never really seen her talk about it. I've seen when she, you know, watched some of her interviews when she was on her press tour, and no interviewer really asked her anything about it, or at least none that I've seen. So I wonder what was going on with that. But if you were doing this because you were possibly being written out of the show, that was a dumb thing to do. Like, just take it and try and go. That's what happens in shows. Some people get killed off. They leave and they go on to other things. And the thing is, you had a lot of talent. Like, you could act and you could sing. Like, what? I don't. I'm at a loss for words right now. I think I've already said enough and made my point here. This is not just it's only not just sad and pathetic, sad, but it's very but disappointing. It's very disappointing. Because, because now, now it's, like I said, it's already, it's bad, already enough bad enough that they don't like when we call like out racism. Call they call that reverse call racism, that or they rather we not they talk about it. Talk but about if it. attacks, attacks like this actually happen, then happen. we're going to have to end up getting vetted. And to be honest, to be honest as black people, as black when, people when, when it happens to when stuff, when stuff happens, happens like this, like we, we might have to get into the process of vetting our own to make sure this shit is actually true before it gets out there, especially when it comes to these celebrities. Because, like I said, people, and one question people were asking was, does he have no security detail, like like no bodyguard or nothing like that? I mean, they, they say he's a pretty high-profile person at this point. Why didn't he have any security? Why was he out at, excuse me, at 2 a.m., going to Subway in the cold after just getting off of a plane from New York? My ass would have just been going to sleep, staying on warm. At 2 a.m., that's where that's where I would be. But... I have nothing more left to say about this. I think I said everything I needed to say. Like I think, I think, I think he 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 is going to have a lot to answer to. Y'all, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. I'll talk to you in the next one.